Hi, my name is Tim Kennedy, and I just wanted to do a little demo of the game I programmed. Uh, it's called Airfox, just tentatively for now. Uh, basically, this was my uh, project done in my DirectX class at DeVry University. And, you know, basically it's a complete C++ program, uh, along with HLSL, uh, you know, writing for shaders. It's all done in DirectX 9. Uh, I believe it's 9C, but basically uh, this is all done by hand uh, with two exceptions. Um, FMOD was used for the sound that you hear now, and uh, actually used Direct Show, which I mean really it's, it's part of DirectX anyway, um, but FMOD was really the only external kind of package uh, that we used, you know, or that I used for this. Um, basically, so uh, let me show you what's going on. Basically, this is a full interactive menu. I just kind of noticed the color saturation here. Uh, this is a full menu system. Uh, it does use kind of some uh, tweening you know, effects here. Uh, what happens is I uh, actually use a little bit of AI, uh, use some arrive and seek algorithms you know, to kind of give the menu a bit of a more organic feel. Um, you'll have different options here. Go into that. You can go from each menu into each menu. Uh, I apologize about the frame rate. Um, perhaps literally is killing the frame rate. So, um, but yeah. So we'll move on to the actual game itself. It's just meant to load here. Now, just just a heads up. This runs at about a 140 frames or calculations per second. Um, normally, not 18. So anyways, uh, as you can kind of see, this is a bit of a uh, Star Fox inspired game. Um, you know, essentially, I am going around collecting coins, or rings rather. Uh, you see at the bottom kind of the score. I'm using a uh, cube map, fully 3D. Basically the camera, I mean literally everything that you see in here was completely programmed by myself. Used resources uh, online, you know, textbook. Big thanks to Frank Luna uh, in the uh, good DirectX books that he's written. Uh, music is uh, Dragonborn by Jeremy Sewell from uh, Skyrim. So I obviously don't take credit for any of that. But the ship is actually a free spaceship downloaded off a of Turbo Squid. Uh, it's a .dot x. Uh, basically, it was it's native .dot x. So I don't really have the code to import the others just yet. That will be something that we're working on for our junior project starting here in a couple weeks. But as you can hear, Homer is unhappy when I miss a, a ring. And if you're noticing down here at the bottom, whenever I miss a ring, it resets my multiplier. See if I can get a couple in a row. As you can see, they start moving faster the more you go. So you see the multiplier goes up, the score goes up. And... And I won the game. Actually, quits back. This is a weird little bug that I have. Um, tried to fix it, but it's not scaling correctly. If I resize the screen, it's okay. But with frap throwing, it's kind of glitchy. And so it takes me back out here. All everything is uh, basically deleted and redone. I'm just going to show you going back into the uh, campaign mode. Basically restarts. Um, did a very thorough check for memory leaks and everything. You see a little bit of shaking when I'm actually doing some physics calculations. Uh, this would be a good opportunity to kind of see the uh, multiplier. You can see it kind of go up. You see the uh, stuff happen here. Keeps track of the rings hit and missed as well. You know, multiplier, more rings and all that, you hit better. You can actually even quit out. Oh, and one thing I wanted to point out, the uh, lighting actually is coming from kind of the uh, behind and to the left kind of move up no. towards the sun it's almost all no. and the further I get away from it the less and less you know no. kind of towards into the shadow a little bit now no. go back <clears throat> I can actually quit out and since I'm awesome I do my own credits this is actually set up a credits importer I was kind of proud of uh, literally, I just wrote some code where I can import a text file, so I'll, this is literally all in a text file. Takes it, converts it into uh, D3D font objects. 
Um, actually, uses the same menu system, but just a text-only version. Um, you know, so lets me use my same arrive and kind of set my speed and all that for all this. So that's it. So uh, if you liked it, didn't like it, think I suck or think I roll, just uh, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I look forward to doing more and more uh, with HLSL and uh, DirectX and all that here in the future. Thanks for watching.